Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to a new video. So, this is going to be an album or EP review of the new band Mother of Grace uh, with their EP In Summer Dreams. It has been released by uh, Wise Blood Records from Indiana in from Indianapolis in Indiana in the United States. Uh, so. Mother of Grace is uh, a melodic doom death metal band from, I believe, also Indianapolis, and um, yeah, they they have surprised me a lot to say the least. I got this recommended, of course, by my buddy uh, Metal Viking eighty two Ryan. Thank you again, dude. Um, so let's dive into the review. Um, yeah, over there or there, I don't know where, I think there is the album cover. Uh, take a look at that, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so from the first song to the last song, this EP is filled with emotion. Being the release of Mother of, being the first release of Mother of Graves, I wouldn't have expected such intensity and dreadfulness in this music. Um, it sounds really, really mature. Um, just from the first song, you are being drawn into a, into an epic story filled with absolutely filthy and dragging and storytelling doom and death metal. So if you don't like melodic death doom or melodic metal in any way possible, yeah, you shouldn't listen to these guys. Um, so... The album starts kind of odd at first listen, but if you listen to more of the album, you kind of it kind of makes sense. Uh, you you it feels like you start right in the middle of a song, and however, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It, sometimes um, there's a song. A weird take on, but there's a song of Lamb of God as the palace is burned and starts right off um, like you're in the middle of the song. It's kind of weird, but uh, Mother of Graves uh, does it really well. Uh, after a few listens, you get it, you know it, you you know what you're going to get after a few listens of the whole EP. Um, there aren't that many moments after that uh, weird moment that um, that might don't feel natural or anything. Uh, the flow throughout the album is comfortable and makes you want to listen to it more and more and more from Mother of Grace. Uh, but sadly, they don't have any more material. Uh, I think. Uh, then I think I listened to In Summer Dreams. For over 10 to 15 times already. It's just amazing. Um, one of the elements that really pops out is um, uh, the art of vocals by Brandon Howe, who you might know for the band uh, Obscene, or maybe some of the Destroyer. Uh, his vocals are insanely powerful and they really feel mighty, and that's really um, comes in handy if you listen to, like, doom metal. Um, yeah, these guys have some experience in the music scene, uh, but in Mother of Grace, I don't have that much experience um, since they only exist since 2019. Um, however, it is noticeable that they bring their experience from the other products and bands that they're in, like, Arakiri, Man Eating, Giant, Summon the Story, and some other bands. Um, the Indianapolis, the Indianapolis-based band certainly knows how to write good music, though. Just by listening to In Summer Dreams, you could absolutely hear the professionalism, and I don't say it a lot, but you could also hear the fun in the music. Not like it's funny music because it's very serious, but you can hear these guys having fun in the music they are producing, they're making, they're mixing. Everything makes 
uh, sense in some way. And it's it's nice to hear that. And these guys really, really do love to play the music that they play with Mother of Grace. Um, so the album has a small layer of an ap- post-apocalyptic feel to it. Uh, especially the song Earn has that feeling, uh, which is, in my opinion, also the best song of this EP. Uh, the dark, abandoned feeling dwells deep in your soul while listening to it. Um, it is also probably the saddest song, um, even with the melodic um, guitar going on and stuff. It really, um, it's really mesmerizing as well, especially the uh, the main guitar riff. Uh, it's it gets stuck in your head. Um, it's a, uh, because of that, you probably see it as the backbone of this song, and that's exactly how I see it. Um, the urn is so well written, uh, just like the whole EP, but the urn really steps out of the... Um, it's kind of, it sounds kind of degrading, but I'm Dutch and I only know like certain English words. Uh, but the urn really steps out of the bunch of the other songs. It is incredible to see such a young band uh, play such experiment, uh, experienced doom death metal. Uh, since that's really, really hard to produce um, correctly because there are a lot of critics going on and um, and doom death metal is really hard to write and keeps it more interesting, especially if you tend to go more to the Doom side, and that's expect- exactly what Mother of Faith does. So, all in all together, uh, I can't wait to hear which label or which distro over here in the Netherlands is gonna, um, gonna carry these CDs. <coughs> Sorry for that. No Corona, though. Um, because I need to have this in the collection. Um, yeah, uh, so... If I would have to give this a number or a grading or I don't know how you call it in your country, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 without a single doubt. I don't have albums that much that I listen to for 10 to 15 times, or like 2 or 3 times after each other back to back, which is really, really awesome. Um... I believe there is going to be a second press. I could be very wrong, but uh, you should check out uh, their label. Um, I keep forgetting it. Wise Blood Records. Go and check them out. Uh, it's a it's a fairly new label, so they really need to support. And I can see the second edition is now available uh, for only eight US dollars, excluding ch- uh, shipping and shit. So go and check out these guys. Uh, go check out White Blood Records. Go check out Mother of Graves. It's a phenomenal EP and one of my highlights of 2021 so far. And it's going to be in the album of the year of 2021. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe because fuck yeah. See you next video.